Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now it's no doubt that storage is very important for your firearms and when I say storage, for me I have found that I definitely rely on a system. It's not just one particular safe or one particular lockbox that works for me, but it's everything that I have that works together as a system. So today what we're going to look at is this Apache 9800 ruggedized case from Harbor Freight. Yes, Harbor Freight, this for me has become one of my most important pieces of my safety and security system for my firearms. This case is excellent, great value, great features overall definitely rugged and this does exactly what I need. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to take you through all the details on how I built this out. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how this works for me and maybe give you some ideas about how this might work for you. Now this is excellent right out of the box, but there's a few things that you can do to make this a little more durable for the long term solution. And so all these details we're going to talk about in today's video. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so as we get into this Apache 9800 ruggedized case from Harbor Freight, as you can see, there's a whole bunch going on here. Now this evolved a little bit over time. It was not set up this way from day one. I kind of worked on it over a little while, sort of figured out what I needed, what would work for me, and it evolved into this. Now this did come from a number of different reasons. First and foremost, I needed some storage for my shotgun. When I got my Mossberg 590, I was looking for a good storage solution that would get me by for the short term without getting a big, heavy, and expensive upright uh, safe. You know, I really didn't want to spend the money on that because A, I didn't really have the best place for it, and B, I didn't really know what I wanted. So until I figured it out, I said, well, let's go with a reasonably affordable solution, and this was definitely a great place to start. And then eventually over time, I realized, well, I could use this to bring this to the range. So I started actually using this as my transportation case. That's the other nice thing, the ability not just to store this and lock it up, maybe in your home, but take it on the road with you. That's the other benefit. This has a lot of great features that lends itself very well to that. And then beyond that, it actually folds down very flat and I can slide this under my bed. That to me was another big deal, the ability to potentially keep this in my bedroom if I needed to. And that's kind of why I have this set up the way that I do. So it gives me a little bit of flexibility if I need to or I want to, to leverage this for the home security and sort of home defense scenario. And again, over time, eventually getting into the 22. So here you can see, this is my Ruger 1022. I have put a scope, bipod, my magazines for the rifle. Again, I have actually a little bit of ammo and I could fully outfit this if I wanted to and put some ammo actually in these magazines. I have a number of shells for home defense and then my sling, so one point sling, which can be used technically for either one of these. This is really more specifically meant for the shotgun. And so at this point, now that you've seen sort of what I have in here, let's take a quick look at the process on how I got this to where it is. The Harbor Freight Apache 9800 weatherproof protective rifle case comes in black or tan. I opted for black just to keep it a little bit low profile. This could be used for rifles, shotguns, handguns, or any other firearms equipment. For my needs, I decided to start with my shotgun. This is made from a high quality and durable polypropylene and it's a good quality hard case that's capable of taking a beating. This is an IP65 rated watertight and dust proof case. And you can see here it's made from pick and pull foam inserts with good impact absorbing protection. Now you can see for me taking my time and outlining my shotgun, doing the absolute best I can to get this cut to a nice tight shape to avoid the shotgun from sliding around inside the case. The other benefit to cutting this nice and tight is the fact that you leave as much room as possible for other accessories. Like for example, my sling. I thought that would be a great opportunity to get my sling put in the case so if I brought this to the range, at least I'd have the sling with me. 
I found that using a good sharp knife is definitely the best way to go. I didn't necessarily stay right on the lines for the pick and pluck foam, but I got it as close as I could to some of the outlines. In some cases, I found as though I did need to remove the foam from the case as to not damage the foam that was beneath the pick and pluck foam. But you can see here, it does do a nice job just cutting along these lines to get it pretty well situated. And then continuing to build this out, I did decide to add my rifle to this. So over time, I ended up buying a Ruger 10-22 and thought I'd add it to this case. Oftentimes when I go to the range, I do want multiple firearms with me. So having both my shotgun and the rifle with me while I go to the range, that's definitely a plus. And this kills two birds with one stone for my storage needs while at home. Again, using a nice sharp knife and doing my best to cut right along the shape of the rifle. Again, I did not necessarily follow the exact outline of the pick and pluck foam. I found that with a good sharp knife, I could carve corners. I could do a real nice job getting this cut more specific to the shape of the rifle. And as you can see here, by the time I was done, this is actually a much nicer contour to the rifle than it was from the shotgun. So if I could have done it again, I probably would have been a little more careful with the outline of the shotgun, but not a big deal. Cleaning out the inside of the case so that I could prepare it, I did want to make this a little more rugged in the long term. The one vulnerability to the pick and pluck foam is the fact that it can fall apart. So the first thing I did was I prepared my case. I got it ready for some good heavy duty adhesive. So on the bottom of the case, I laid an extreme amount of adhesive on it so it would keep it in place and set into the case. So doing my best to get a good amount of the spray adhesive, you'll see here getting a nice even coat, placing it in as best as I could. Now this is where it got a little bit dodgy. If I didn't work carefully, it was really capable of warping a little bit on me and pulling out of place and not sitting exactly where I need. And the adhesive that I had was very tacky. So I was a little bit vulnerable here to getting this laid out the way I need and still fitting the firearms as well as I cut it out. But taking my time and getting everything into place, it definitely worked out pretty well for the most part. Then the next thing I wanted to do is really make sure that I got a good quality and durable resistant surface. So I actually leveraged Flex Seal. I used a clear Flex Seal, which seems to work pretty well. And I used literally an entire can. The one thing I can tell you is all of the spray adhesive and the Flex Seal has a really extremely strong odor. So you do need to allow this to vent. You do need to allow it to cure and dry outside. But over time, the smell does dissipate. Generally speaking, you can see here a good even rubber coating over this entire thing. The Flex Seal doing a wonderful job and really sealing in each little piece of the pick and pluck foam to make sure it doesn't pull out of place. Getting all my firearms and all my accessories placed into the case. Well, here, my 1022, the Mossberg 590 Thunder Ranch Edition, getting my scope and a bipod, getting a bipod put into place. Having these accessories for the rifle is fantastic. My magazines, I can keep these loaded if I want or unloaded. My sling, so my one point sling. And then I decided I thought it would be a great opportunity to get some shotgun shells in the case. Now, granted, I cannot transport my firearms with the ammo. However, having these in the case for storage, it does give me a self-defense and home defense solution. But overall, generally speaking, this case came out wonderful from the overall layout and design all the way through making that foam a little more rugged. This Harbor Freight 9800 is fantastic. And so there you have it, the build out process. And as you can see here, nice and durable. This is pick and pluck foam, but I definitely have a solid coating on the top and the underside binding all of this together. And that's really going to help for the long term in the ability for this to stay together without fully pulling apart. You can see in a few areas, I might end up with a little bit of trouble, but at the same time, on the vast majority of this, much, much better working out very well. And I love the way this came out. And so now that you've seen how I've gotten this to this point, let's go through the rest of the features. And so you obviously know very well about how I got to this point, the foam, 
obviously working pretty well if you're not careful it could pull apart i find the foam on the top of this to be more than suitable it's thick enough it does a nice job protecting and i don't think it needs much more than this now of course this is only a single sided case as you get into other hard cases you may have like a dual sided design this is only a single sided design but that's just fine for me you can see here a very rugged handle. I mean, super durable, seems to work very nice. I haven't had any problem with it. Good and sturdy, nice and thick and heavy duty plastic. Same with the latches. These latches, very strong, you'll notice. Good positive click, four of them, which is nice maintaining even pressure all the way down and at the same time just doing a nice job to keep this nice and tight this is gasketed so theoretically it is and i don't know if it's fully waterproof but definitely water resistant and as you can see here this does technically have a valve so i mean this in reality is to help this breathe yet at the same time you can close this keeps it nice and uh, water resistant watertight or if you want it to be able to breathe depending on what you have in here either way I don't know what's the best um, I just had it closed a little bit of a name tag right here if you so choose you could put that in and you'll notice a couple places for locks that's the other thing that I greatly enjoy about this the fact that this locks and you have two locations one on each end to keep this nice and tight you could probably check this in an airline if you were willing to pay for it um, that would actually do a nice job if you're able to cinch this nice and tight it would meet your tsa requirements and good and durable heavy duty wheels these casters on the bottom spin very nice i haven't had any problem with them fairly smooth seem to have reasonable bearings and then handles in a few different locations so as you notice here handle also on the bottom and also on the top so has some nice grab points along the way very nicely done and you'll see here again the apache 9800 which they say is rugged mobility generally speaking very good construction at this point i am definitely very happy with this I think Harbor Freight has done a wonderful job, and this is definitely a high-value item. And so, all right, guys, there you have it, the Apache 9800 ruggedized case. Again, using it for my shotgun and my 22 rifle. For anybody, you could mix and match. You could make this outfitted any way you want. For me, it's just helping me with my solution now. Is this forever? Probably not, but as you saw, it's definitely doing a great job to give me the solution that I needed for the short term, the ability for me to get these to the range, a little bit of storage if I need to slide this under the bed, gives me some security. Overall, definitely perfect. It does exactly what I need. And then ruggedizing the foam on the inside, putting the adhesive, uh, putting, you know, the spray, getting this nice and rugged, a little more durable so it won't really pull apart over time. I think that's going to be important. Now, again, is this perfect? No, absolutely not. But you know what? For a reasonable price and pretty darn cheap this is going to do exactly what i need for now and as i learn and as i grow and as i gain additional parts to my system this will be phased in or out or depending on what i need but for short money and that's the thing great value this will definitely get you a good quality solution and so if you like this content do me a favor take a look at my outer limitless channel which is my primary channel if you like outdoor excursions hiking camping and backpacking trips all the gear that goes with it from the backpacks sleep systems shelter systems knives axes flashlights you name it that's my outer limitless youtube channel so all right guys thanks for stopping by I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.